Good morning, everyone. It is still morning. Yes, it's still morning. And yes, I'm in my car. And this lighting is not very good. Let's see. Let's see if I do this, will it make it better? A little bit. Okay, so today is Friday, and I really feel I feel like I'm seeing the world for the first time because it's been like five days since I've been out, four days, something like that. <laughs> anyway, the only reason you guys, the only reason why I am out is because for those of you who don't know, every morning I take a thyroid pill and I have to do that for the rest of my life because I have my thyroid taken out actually. Um, I think I told you guys the whole story. Well, anyway, every morning I take a thyroid pill and I realized today that I only have one pill left. And if you're wondering, there's no way I could not have known that I only had a few pills left. Well, yeah, so I took it out, otherwise I would show you guys. But it had a bunch of cotton in it and also had those little, um, I don't know, those little square things and it shakes up and it makes noise, whatever. So this three in them, when I get my vitamins or anything that I need, I usually take all that out. For some reason I didn't this time and I actually thought I had at least 30 days worth in here. So that's why I wasn't stressing. I'm thinking, oh, I'd be fine until all of this blows over. Nope. And then what I wanted to do is call the refill line so they can just refill it and I go in there, grab it and get it. Don't even have to wait and sit. No, something's going on with Kaiser's phone system. I cannot get through. It's supposed to be a refill line where you call, you put in your medical record number. I keep getting hung up on, and every time I put my number in when I get to that part, just something doesn't go right. So, I tried calling the pharmacy. Oh, that's something that you need to come in and do. We don't have time right now. You know what, I'm not getting any help, so I need this, I mean, I research what would happen to the body if you don't take your thyroid medicine and nothing would happen right away, but it won't be good, you know, in two weeks or three weeks. I have one in here, if you guys can hear that. And yeah, I need to go pick up my thyroid medicine. I have faith in God, I trust God. But at the same time, I know he said, be wise and listen to the laws of the land, but obey the people who are in rule over you. So, I do get that, but at least we're able to go out for necessities, and this is a necessity, but I just feel like I wish I would have known this the day we went out to get Boston his food, because I could have gotten it then. I really don't want to be out, you guys, and like I said, I'm not afraid or anything. I just, I just want to be smart, but anyway, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go home, and continue doing a whole lot of nothing i will say though it's nice to be out in fresh air even though my windows are up in my car <laughs> it's nice to be out and to have another scenery other than my room the dining room and the living room so this is actually nice yeah just stay in your car yeah we're good way from a distance okay so i'm outside of kaiser one of the pharmacies and I'm in my car. I do have to go back in to wait for my prescription. So it's on a zero refill. So what that means is they actually have to message my doctor. What is this car doing? Okay, she was parked like in front of me on the other side and she was parked in between like two spots. And then she backed up almost like she's about to hit my car. Anyway, a zero refill, which I don't know why they don't just put refills on it, on every one. It's an ongoing condition that I'm going to have, not condition. It's on an ongoing thing that I have to have for the rest of my life. So they have to message the doctor and have them put in an order for it. So I'm waiting for that. Shouldn't take that long. And I'm on Kaiser's like text message system. So... Once the order comes in, I will receive a text message. So that's the reason why I'm not going home. But with everything that's going on now, I was trying to bring out my camera and show you guys, but they made like a makeshift wall. Then there's a little opening where you can put in, like put your card in or um, whatever like that that you need. So, and then before I go in, there's a guard and there's also a nurse standing outside and she's asking you questions. Have you been out of the country? Do you have a sore throat or anything like that? And so then they have hand sanitizer that they want people to use 
before you go in You're only allowing so many people inside the pharmacy at once so um yeah so hopefully i get that text soon so that way i can get my meds and let me try to show you guys a little bit without looking creepy hold on <laughs> if you guys see over there there's a guard and a nurse okay so i'm back home and guess who still didn't get their medication yeah so i've had zero refills before you guys and it did not take so long to refill it it's like over an hour i'm sitting at my car i'm like you know what let me go back in and check and see what's going on so i went in and they tell me oh the doctor has up to 24 hours to respond you didn't think you could have told me that when you told me just go ahead and wait yeah anyway it is what it is i have to go back out i didn't want to that's the reason why i was trying to wait to see if you know the doctor responded but they didn't so yeah so i don't know what's been up with me lately but all this food we have in this house because we stocked up on food not toilet paper and i don't want none of it so i ordered from sushimono still have a scar there from the pimple anyway our order from sushimono i know last time i told you guys i didn't know what we got because um, i didn't remember it but they wrote it on the box so this is the 911 and it's kind of spicy even though it says 911 it's not really all that spicy but it's like a jalapeno with imitation crab and cream cheese and i'm sure it's fried because it looks like a fried batter and whatever sauce that's on it whatever it's really good so in here there's three different kinds one called the yummy mozzarella and spicy crispy and usually i get the same things from there actually i take that back we usually always get the 911 because that's our favorite and then the other stuff we will just pick and choose for um at that moment whatever we're feeling like but this is really good right here this is the mozzarella so i'm gonna eat you guys i'm hungry i did not eat breakfast it is 120 and guess what my medicine still isn't ready all right so what i just showed you that was like the makeshift plastic barrier that they had on there kaiser finally called me and my prescription was ready i'm praying by the time i run out all this is over so let me see does she give any refills no she didn't put any refills this tiny little pill you guys this is what i have to take every morning for my thyroid but i have them now i'm happy and let's go home and it's funny because one of the questions that they ask you before you go in there is have you been out of the country and do you have a cough and a runny nose or any symptoms like that no i don't but being that it's like close to allergy season and i'm gonna have to put you guys down really soon because it's gonna fall being that it's really close to allergy se season and I seen like pollen flying in the air. Yeah, I'm coughing now. My nose is itchy because of the season, but I'm not going to tell her that because they're not going to let me in to get my meds. All right. So it's much later. It's like eight o'clock, actually almost nine o'clock. And I'm sitting here just catching up on This Is Us. And so boston earlier today he found the mud puddle somewhere outside so he tracked like mud in the house and so you guys know how i feel about mopping right i'm like okay well i will wait until everyone's asleep everybody's in their room so i'm just gonna go ahead and mop and i kid you not not even five minutes after i sat down here comes savannah out of her room Ooh, what smells good in the hallway yeah that's the reason why I don't mop unless everyone's asleep. I That's just one of my pet peeves. I hate people walking on my wet floors. I absolutely hate it. Good morning. Nope, good afternoon. It's day, I don't know, of the quarantine. One day runs into the next. And I'm just scrambling eggs, but I'm making French toast for lunch, I guess you should say. Um, I've only been up like an hour. 
this quarantine is not going to be good for when I go back to work. I've been staying up so late lately. Okay. We bought so much sugar that it wouldn't all fit inside the containers that we keep it in. So I'm trying to use up what we have in the bag first before I start using the ones in the container. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Oh, that's way too much vanilla. Ooh. It's going to be drowning in it. I do have to go back to work. I'm gonna have to like, <laughs> for two or three days before, start going to bed at a normal time because I've been staying up so late lately. So late. So y'all wanna know what time I went to bed? Should I say this morning? I stayed up to like six. I don't do stuff like that anymore. Usually eight, nine o'clock, I'm old. I'm getting tired. This not having to go to work, not having nothing to do, but stay in the house all day and watch stuff on Netflix, see my kids all day long and eat. It's driving me crazy. I'm a little crazy here. Just a little bit, just a little bit crazy. So one of the reasons why I stayed up last night is not a very good reason. I was bored, I was on my phone. Me and the girls were sending videos back and forth to each other from, oh, I didn't tell you guys yet. Well, some of you guys may already know, but I um, hopped on the bandwagon into the dark side and I made me a TikTok. Said I was never going to do it. And surprisingly, there are a lot of old, surprisingly, there are a lot of people my age on that app. So anyway, I was up late just sending, we were all sending videos back and forth to each other and I swear, at first when I laid down to go to bed, I thought it was only two hours and then I got a notification on my phone from the Bible app and that's set for six in the morning and I'm like, mm, somebody needs to go to bed and get off this, yeah. Savannah's fault. Blame her. So I am at TikTok. You guys can find me at the Shelbo Life. Same name. But if you are my age and you're thinking about creating one, don't do it. It's the devil. It's a trap. It'll have you addicted and going crazy. Okay. Anyway, I'm making um French toast right now. This quarantine is making me crazy, you guys. I'm telling you. I'm an introvert, okay? And I'm a stay-at-home homebody. And this is driving me crazy. Much as I hate this creamer because it's too sweet, I'm running out. I have maybe that much left. And you would have thought that while I was at the store, like three days ago, I would have gotten everything I needed. But no, I'm... No, I didn't. So I'm actually kind of sad it's running out because when it does, I don't want to make just a senseless trip to the store for creamer. So we have sugar, we have milk. Isn't that what real coffee drinkers do anyway? Okay, so I guess that's what I will have if I want my coffee. So I'm doing what I do best. Just caught up with all of the episodes of This Is Us. Do you guys watch that show still? Wow. This show will have you in your feelings. I was crying, laughing, and like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that happened, and I can't believe they said that, and yeah. Do you guys still watch it? I know it's been out a while. But...